Apollo, my friends, may be day candid jewel. Join me on my journey as I embrace the culture of Ghana while exploring the globe candidly. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll always know when I upload. Get comfortable because we're about to get candid. Hey y'all, so it's your girl Candid Jewel and I'm so happy that I'm finally putting out another video. I'm so sorry for the delay. I haven't been posting on YouTube or on Instagram or on TikTok or on Facebook or on Snapchat, like all of my social media pages have been kind of quiet. You know, I just really haven't had the drive to do it just because like creating content is a lot of work. I don't know if y'all know this. If you're a content creator, then you also know I really would love to get to a point where I can have a camera person and have an editor just to like record my life. Cause like, you know, when right now I'm making a vlog from Cozumel and I definitely wanted to share it with you guys because this is my first trip since COVID. I want to enjoy, I want to like take it all in, but I'm also in the back of my head thinking about, I got to record, you know what I mean? And also I got other things that I'm working on, you know, so some big surprises coming up shortly. I'm going to share with you guys. I want to still, you know, touch on my experiences here in Ghana very candidly, um, but there's more to Candid Jewel than just Ghana, right, and my experiences here. So I definitely want to make sure that I include you guys on all of that. Life's been good. Ghana's been good. I'm dating again, you know, so I got a little somebody special in my life. I've been working. That's actually, I need to make a video about that because I have been working. So Cozumel is beautiful, like I said before. I think it's beautiful. I definitely feel like it's not my vibe. I think it's my vibe for this trip because I wanted somewhere to like chill and be on the resort and relax, eat and drink, swim, enjoy the beach. And I could definitely do that here at this resort and things like that. I've been to better all-inclusive places, um, but we picked this place specifically because of the price. But I think that Cozumel is giving me more of a family orientation type of vibe. There's a lot of families here. There's a lot of older couples, um, a lot of kids. I really like to go to adult only places, um, but it's not a party town. It definitely seems like more like chill and relax. Um, but I'm staying at the El Cozumelino. And the reason why we decided to pick Cozumel over all the other countries that we could have went to was because again, you know, I work for the airline. We were looking at places that we could travel to from Miami or Dallas or Charlotte or Philadelphia International. And we're looking at where, which flight we can take and get first class. And Cozumel had first class going from the States to Cozumel and coming back from Cozumel back to the States. And that's really what we wanted. I think that it was a good quick trip, but I probably wouldn't come here again. Even the hotel, I probably would give it like a six. There's nothing wrong with that. We are the only black people here <laughs> on the whole island. <laughs> what are you gonna take to? Hey. Getting here was actually really smooth. It was super last minute. Like we literally were like, let's go do something. We were looking at places that were open. So we looked on our, um, our company's website and we just basically looked to see what was open. And we showed up this way. Again, we fly standby, which is like a non-revenue passenger. We don't actually pay for our ticket. Pay for the taxes. We, right, we pay for the taxes when we go international. As long as it's us, as long as it's our airline, we are looking to see what seat we can get on, like what's open. So that's what we literally did on Sunday. And so Cosmel come up one because I've never been here and Nat has not been here either. I don't know, I don't want this to be sounded like we're ungrateful, but mm -hmm. it's just like some of the stuff that like you're accustomed to, you're like... Okay, I'm so gonna... that's literally the issue I have in Ghana. Really? And I think that a lot of people on my, I'm not gonna just say on my channel, but on my YouTube, not my YouTube, but like my TikTok and stuff, you know, one of the things I complain about is customer service and people not being on time. Yeah. Like I thought like they're two separate things. Like people come to work late, yes, but food also comes out late. Um, if you're trying to meet somebody somewhere, just know it's gonna be like an hour and a half until they get there. You <laughs> see what she said? She said why, right? Buenos dias. Buenos dias, buenos dias, bienvenidos. So much. Thank you. Kongsha, and I got a pretzel. If y'all have never had a mimosa with try Tennessee, try Remy. 
That's Add that to your out. orange juice with champagne. Let me tell you. I'm gonna dip it. Ew. So Natalie can't drink, so I'm drinking for four of us. <laughs> Two of them need to get a 21 before they can drink. And then Natalie, you know. So, so yeah. if I didn't catch that, that means I'm pregnant with twins. She's pregnant with twins. My birthday is January 11th. They are due 13th. But normally when you carry twins, I've heard that you, um, you deliver early. They may be born in like December, but. Oh no. December Capricorn are different than January Capricorn, okay? I said, I feel like Cancun is um, fun, but it's like overrated. Uh, now, the best place I've been, and like, I could be biased, but I Playa de Carmen was a whole vibe. Like, you know that's your like, favorite place you visited? Yes, in Mexico, yes. My favorite vacation was Jamaica. Jamaica and um, me and my boyfriend, we did two days in Kingston, and then we did two days in Ultras Rios. You know what I thought I could have with this, but that was good. That was very fun. Girl, what? You don't know how to swim. You've been. Over. I can swim. So why would you need me to rescue you? Just in case, bitch. For what? In case anything happen. go snorkeling I'm so excited so I'm really not a swimmer I try okay so that's what we're about to be going to do I'm not an expert but bitch I I'll be fine fish in that damn water they're huge too like it was kind of throwing me off i know y'all saw me get out the first time because <laughs> i had to get myself together my face was also all messed up but but they big just believe me they're not even baby fish they big fish they it's like true. tilapia like yeah. a 70 cities catfish <laughs> like it's not you know and, and even when i was swimming i was like i don't want to touch them yes. but you know what else was killing me i put my head on the water and i saw a little itty bitty fish and i'm like what did they get in my hair Girl. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get in the pool and then we're gonna go ahead and tour Cozumel. Checkout time is in about two hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and just chill. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, all that stuff. You already know what to do. Let me know again in the comments what you want to hear and what you want to see on this channel. Please remember to create your own path and say it loud, candid, and motherfucking proud. Okay.